didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Samuel's working on the sprinklers. Some damage here might get his attention. Come on. But Evan is right there. Shh. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. <sighs> They're just too high risk. Hmm. 
Gotta get Evan away from that sprinkler. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of... Uh... Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh... deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay? Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. And, uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been... Real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. Now you just unconvinced me. Why am I not surprised? 
Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... She's... single. You sure? That's what I said. I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. I need to distract Evan, but he's totally focused on that bird. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. So tempting, but Evan will see me, for sure. And he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Skip, how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Look, it, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? Oh, didn't think so. Come on, Skip. I break the rules and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. 
for old times' sake. I want to, Chloe, but I really can't. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. That's not cool, Skip. You realize that, right? <sighs> Chloe, I just have this feeling like you're up to... S Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place! What? No, I... I uh, <laughs> uh, fuck it. I totally did that. Wells raked me over the coals for that! Ugh, time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Cause unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent-a-cop job. <laughs> just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Whoa, Skip. Matthews, I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Cause I, I've, got, I've gotten reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. Damn. Skip really lost it there. All right. Time to find Drew's room. All right, which one is Drew's room? Good. <laughs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <sighs> Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sport.
Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Damn it. Wrong. Damn it. Wrong. Damn it. Wrong num. Damn it. Wrong numbers. <sighs> Might actually need some help with this one. One, two, two, seven. Ugh, worth a shot. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. <laughs> hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one week. Oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid. No oh. one steals from me. Oh. No one. Fuck. 
fuck? Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Uh, uh. Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. I... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew? You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, uh, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular. <laughs> did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug? Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. Sup, Mr. Keaton. 
Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? <laughs> I don't know. I guess the whole point of love is to leave yourself open to... <laughs> Whatever happens. <laughs> Indeed. That is an art many of us attempt and precious few master. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. <laughs> Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is... Weird. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Rachel? Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. Just like she tried to sabotage me yesterday. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real, you're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase, you know? Even if you suck. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Uh, okay. Cool. Tea? For your instrument. We want you at your best tonight. Uh, uh. Okay, V. Time to shine. Oh, Price, that was epic. You distracted her just long enough for me to slip those pills into her tea. I did. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were gonna pick that one? I guess Prospera knows all. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before the. Sweet pardon. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists. A misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Ah! Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost.
What? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. Damn it. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Seriously, have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. You. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, 
My Ariel, come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Not a hair perished, and, uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. In... Troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? <clears throat> Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line. Is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with Excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? <laughs> Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. 
Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. You crushed it. So good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? Strangeness of Was your that story real? Put heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, come I say! On! Uh, mm. As wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art. I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore. And they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown. And what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. Isn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. <laughs>